Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nana, or Brenda Lovett, and uh, I'm here to read stories to the children. So, uh, let me tell you a little bit about me, because this is my first video uh, for this channel. I do have other channels, but this one is for reading to the children. I have 12 grandbabies. 12 grandbabies! And I love reading to them, and I love reading, and I think it's very important. And the imagination is awesome. You can go anywhere, be anything, at any time, anything you you can imagine. So that's why I think reading's fun and it's good for you. So uh, I started this channel because I can't be with all my my babies. They're they live further away. So in order for Nana to be able to to read to them, I started this channel so I could read the stories and they could watch them whenever they wanted and whichever one they wanted. And they would see Nana since I couldn't be there. So, but I would like to read to you if you want me to. So, I will be reading aloud stories and I'll post every night. So, look for that. Okay. So, let's read the story. Today, we're going to read Murphy Meets the Treadmill by Harriet Zeford and illustrated by Emily Boland. Boland. It's about Murphy. And he's a simple dog with simple pleasures. He's happy just to be on the porch and watch the people go by, especially if they have treats for him. Do you have pets? Do you have a dog? I have a dog, and you will meet him someday. His name is Bubba, <laughs> and he, he's not going to sit peacefully by. He's not going to do that, especially if there's a cat around. So let's see what happens when Murphy he meets the treadmill. That sounds interesting, huh? Murphy meets the treadmill. All right. Everyone calls me Murphy. I live with Cheryl in an old house with a large front porch. I think I'm going to have to adjust that light. He's got his bandana on. The porch is my favorite place to be. So is Bubba's. I'm happy just to lie on the top stop, step and watch the people go by. My favorite activity is eating. I love food, especially between meals. And lucky for me, there are lots of people who like to feed me. Mm -hmm. Those are some good people. One day, Cheryl told me I was getting fat. I was surprised. I thought I had a good build and I was an excellent example of my breed. And I thought I was better looking than most of the yellow Labrador co of my Labrador co cousins. Sorry. Cousins. He thought he was better looking than all those cousins. Cheryl tried to put me on the scale, but I refused. I don't like scales, and what I weigh is my own business. Cheryl and I got into a tug of war, and uh... mm. Cheryl fell down. Murphy, she yelled, you have 30 seconds to get on that scale. I knew she meant business, and I was interest, wasn't interested in being sent to the basement, so I got myself on the scale. 95 pounds. You definitely need to diet, Cheryl scolded. <laughs> My, no more leisurely walks, said Cheryl. We're jogging. Run, Murphy, run! Oops. No more heaping portions. It's low-fat chow for you. And no more after-dinner snacks. I begged for just a little something, but Cheryl didn't offer me a single chip. Not a single chip. I'm going to be having that down here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> These will get better. <laughs> he didn't even get a single snack. One day, a delivery van arrived. I barked. I growled. I tried to look ferocious. But the men un unloaded the machine anyway. The machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look happy. This is for the two of us. It's a treadmill. And Cheryl, 
said, we'll take turns. It will help us both stay trim and fit. There's no way I'm getting on that machine, I thought, and I barked even louder. Then I barked at the vacuum cleaner. Cheryl didn't care what I thought. She pushed me onto the treadmill. <laughs> he does like a little flippy. I immediately got off. Cheryl picked me up again. Now stay, she said firmly. Stay. <laughs> mm. I felt ridiculous. I didn't know whether to laugh or growl, so I began to walk. Keep walking, said Cheryl. This is your warm-up. Concentrate. Stay to the center so you don't fall off. Cheryl turned up the machine, and I had to walk a little faster. Oh, cool. I whimpered. I whined, but Cheryl did not turn off the machine. The motor. She didn't turn it off. There will be a nice drink of water when you get off, said Cheryl, and then you can relax on the porch. The thought of being able to stretch out keep, kept me going. Good dog, said Cheryl. You're almost done. Way to go, Lizzie. It wasn't long before word got out that I knew how to use a treadmill. Everyone wanted to see me doing my daily exercises, so Cheryl moved me to the porch. Hold on, I nope. A perfect example of his breed, they said. Oh, he's no couch potato. What a physique. Look at that build. Awesome. The neighbors did not stop talking. They was very impressed. When N Nika, the neighbor's hound, came to check things out, I knew she thought I was handsome and physically fit. And I said to myself, exercise is worth it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep looking good for the ladies. The local newspaper sent a reporter and a photographer. I posed for pictures. Clearly, this was just beginning. Soon I would be famous and rich. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I'll never forget my old friends. Well, so what did you think about that? I think Murphy was a little fluffy and needed to take a... He needed the treadmill, I think. Uh, have you ever been on a treadmill? I have not. That was going. Because <laughs> Nana would probably fall down. Now. So, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I hope you loved the book. And I hope you come back and watch our next video. And it will be about Goldilocks Returns. So please think about subscribing. And thank you for watching. I love you.